Hey everybody, Eric with MountModernLife.com and today I want to ask you a question. And that question is, do you know what's in your pillows? Now I'm not talking about what it's made of, like down feathers or memory foam or whatever else. I'm talking about do you know what chemicals are in your pillows? Now the reason I ask is because a while back Katie and I were having trouble sleeping so we started looking into different RV mattresses. Well, as we were doing our research, we fell down a different rabbit hole that revealed the chemicals that are in most pillows today. I'm talking about formaldehyde, fire resistant chemicals, off gassing chemicals, and it blew our mind because for eight hours a day or basically a third of our life, we are sleeping on a product that is releasing harmful chemicals. So at that point, we decided to reach out to some eco-friendly pillow companies to see if they would be opening to send us some pillow, open to sending us some pillows to review. Well, we did finish that post and it's up over on the website. You can check it out in the link below and it was sponsored. Now this video on the other hand isn't sponsored. We just thought it was important to share it with you in case you weren't aware of the chemicals that are in pillows today. Um, and because at the same time, since we've switched up to the more eco-friendly options, uh, we've slept so much better at night. Now we are by no means perfect when it comes to eco-friendly sustainability living, um, but we do try to eat organically whenever we can. We use green cleaning products and in our RV we tried to replace as many materials as we could with less off-gassing options. Now the thing is, is we look at it as an approach of progress and baby steps versus perfection. Basically progress versus perfection. So as we move forward here, we're gonna talk about the eight pillows that we reviewed in the hopes that maybe one of them will be right for you. Uh, but at the very least, hopefully at least gives you some inspiration to go out and do a little bit more research on your own to find out the best approach for you moving forward. Anyway, let's dive into the eight eco-friendly pillows that we reviewed. So before we dive into all the individual pillows, we thought it was important to have you take a second and kind of think about how it is you like to sleep and what type of pillow you like to sleep on. So for Katie and I, we're a bit different. Uh, Katie realized before we got these pillows that she generally sleeps on her side and likes a more flat kind of firm pillow. Whereas I generally sleep on my stomach and like a more fluffy or cloud-like pillow. Now for everybody, it's completely different and individualized. So just something to keep in mind as we go through the rest of the pillows. And one more side note that we learned through our research is that when you're sleeping, it's been proven that generally when you sleep on your back, it's better for your spinal alignment. And when you sleep on your stomach, it's actually the worst for your spinal alignment. Anyway, just an interesting tidbit to keep in mind, but let's go ahead and dive into our first pillow, which is the K-Pock. Our first pillow is the organic K-Pak pillow. Now some of the features include the fact that it's vegan, it's hyperallergenic, also has adjustable filling, dust mite resistant, and GOTS certified. Now the company we got it from is called Savvy Rest, which is an employee owned company, and it was founded in 2003 by Michael and his wife Heather. They were actually out looking for mattresses and pillows and realized all the toxins that were involved and decided to start their own company so they could provide safer alternatives. Now a fun fact about K-Pak is that it was actually used in the first life jackets before eventually being replaced with synthetic foam. So the K-Pak pillow is extremely cuddly, soft, kind of like sleeping on a cloud. Uh, it's generally recommended for back sleepers. However, I am a firm all the time sleeping on my stomach sleeper and I love this pillow. Uh, Katie actually really enjoys it as well when she's sleeping on her side. Um, in the past, if a pillow has been too firm, it can make her ear a little uncomfortable when she wakes up in the morning. Uh, but with this one being so soft, she just never has to deal with that. So overall, I would suggest this pillow for pretty much anyone that likes kind of that airy, fluffy, cloud-like feeling. Um, and what else is really cool about it, we mentioned it earlier, is the adjustable filling. Uh, so if you come in here real quick, we'll show you. But as we look in here, you're going to look and you're going to see that it's kind of like a cotton substance, except when you feel it, it's a lot more silky. Um, now, the thing is, it is really light and airy. So as you're uh, filling or taking material out, just be aware of that because it may blow around a little bit. Um, and the K-Pak itself has actually been compared to a down pillow. So if you're looking for a cruelty free option, uh, this may be a good route for you to take. Um, but overall, Katie and I have absolutely loved being able to fill and refill this pillow because you're able to create your own loft if you want it higher or smaller. You're really able to make this pillow your own pillow depending on what your preferences are when you sleep. 
So, like we said earlier, we definitely suggest this pillow for anyone who's looking for an airy, kind of cloud-like pillow to sleep on. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Pillow number two on our list is the natural shredded latex pillow with an organic cotton cover. Uh, some of the features include the fact that it's GOLS and GOTS certified. It also is hyperallergenic, dust mite resistant, and comes with the adjustable filling. Now we picked this pillow up from Pure Living Space. Uh, it's a family owned company, it was actually started by Carol and her husband Kelly. Uh, when Carol was recovering from a home accident, she started to realize how many toxins and chemicals were all throughout their house. Uh, and that's when they started Pure Living Space so that they could offer healthy home and personal care products. Now, a fun fact about latex is that it actually comes from the sap and rubber trees. So our first impression of this pillow is that it's slightly firm yet springy and supportive at the same time. Now, it's unlike any pillow I've ever slept on, and it does have a sweet rubbery smell, but that should dissipate over time. Uh, but what's really awesome about this pillow is that when you lay down, you immediately sink in while not compressing the pillow. Um, so it contorts to your neck and head uh, to give you that support, uh, but it's not necessarily moldable. Now we'd suggest this is probably best for side and back sleepers who are looking for a firmer pillow. And uh, side note, latex is also supposed to have a healthy effect on people snoring, so something to keep in mind. Now, if you are gonna be looking for latex pillows specifically, you should make sure to search out 100% natural latex, otherwise they could mix in synthetics as well. And then, of course, if you have allergies to latex, you should probably avoid latex pillows altogether. But anyway, let's show you what the inside looks like. So the first thing you're going to notice as you look in there is that our bag is about half empty. Now that's mainly because we like flatter pillows so we did uh, get rid of quite a bit of the filling that it comes with. But what's awesome about that is that it comes with a ton of filling so you're really able to have complete control over the loft and how you want to go about it. Um, but if you look down in there you can see that it definitely kind of looks like popcorn. But it is uh, sticky, the latex is sticky and kind of clings to everything and it can get kind of messy. So if you're changing the loft in your pillow, just keep that in mind. But uh, that about wraps it up for what the inside looks like. Let's go ahead and move on to pillow number three. So our next pillow is the Eden pillow. And some of the features include uh, being CertiPure US certified. It's also hyperallergenic, dust mite resistant, has a cooling effect when you sleep. Uh, it's vegan and uh, it also has the refillable inside. Now we picked this pillow up from Coop Home Goods. And to be honest with you, when we were first doing our research, we were seeing advertisements everywhere that had great reviews but we noticed that the materials weren't naturally derived so it had us a little confused on if it was going to be eco-friendly well that's where the CertiPure US certification comes in because that actually states that all the materials used in the pillow don't have any harmful toxins or chemicals in them so there's no formaldehyde flame retardants or ozone depleters nothing like that out there so compared to most of the other toxic filled foams out there this is a much more eco-friendly option so first impressions of this pillow is that it's super soft and cuddly, almost cloud-like. Um, in fact, before we even got it to the RV, Katie uh, told me that she was pretty sure this was gonna be my favorite pillow, and uh, she wasn't wrong. <laughs> this is by far my favorite pillow, I love it. Um, I am a stomach sleeper, and I think it just works perfectly for me. Um, to be honest with you, it's uh, on occasion, Katie does end up uh, sneaking it away from me without me noticing. Um, but uh, we'd recommend if you're a side or stomach sleeper, this is a great pillow for you. Uh, even though Katie does normally sleep on her back and she loves this pillow also. Um, so overall, we're just really happy with the way that this works. Uh, it's also really good if you sleep kind of hot and you're looking for a pillow that you don't have to flip and turn throughout the night. It really does have a good cooling effect to it. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the inside and show you guys what that looks like. So as you look inside here, you can see that there's an extra pillowcase and that's really handy because then you're able to actually wash this outside pillowcase um, while keeping the stuffing intact. 
Now, what was also really cool is that when they sent us the pillow, it was pretty well full, but they also included an extra bag of stuffing, really giving you a lot of flexibility on creating your own loft and deciding how much material you want inside there. But as you can see, the inside is kind of blue. Uh, we have noticed that some of it has yellowed over time, uh, but it's cool to the touch. It's really easy to work with, and it doesn't really get everywhere like some of the other pillows. Now, overall, I know this is a biased opinion because this is my favorite pillow, pillow, but I really think that anybody who's looking for a soft, fluffier, kind of cloud-like pillow, this will work for you no matter how you sleep. But anyway, let's, on, let's move on to pillow number four. So we're sharing pillow number four and pillow number five at the same time because they're both wool pillows. Uh, over here we have our woolly down and over here we have our regular fill. Uh, they both come with organic pillowcases. Uh, some of the features include being naturally fire resistant, hyperallergenic, uh, dust mite resistant. They're also GOTS certified. And the woolly down actually comes uh, with refillable uh, stuffing. Now we picked these pillows up from Holy Lamb Organics and wool itself is an honest material that's been used for thousands of years, but it was important for us when we were doing our research if we were gonna use wool to make sure that it was cruelty free. And Holy Lamb Organics uh, does uphold that. They are cruelty free. Uh, they use only eco and sustainable methods in order to gain their wool. Uh, they actually source all of it from the United States, supporting local sheep farmers in Oregon and California. Um, so it's pretty awesome that uh, they make sure to go the extra step to make sure the wool is ready to go and nothing else is added. Such as with a lot of other wool out there, there can be toxins uh, thrown in there um, and they don't do that here. So just something to keep in mind. So our first impression when we took these pillows out of the box was that they didn't have individual plastic wrapping on them. Well, then we saw the note from Holy Lamb Organics that explains that they are committed to plastic-free, zero-waste business practices, which is something Katie and I can completely stand behind. Now, when we first got these pillows, we thought for sure that Katie would love the woolly down, and I would be a bigger fan of the regular fill. Well, it was actually the, just the opposite. So Katie loved the regular fill because it was a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit softer, and a tad bit cooler. Now, I like the woolly down, especially once I was able to adjust the filling so that it was a little bit flatter so that I could sleep on my stomach with it. The best way I can think of to describe sleeping on these pillows is like sleeping on a dense cloud. We think they'd probably be best for you if you sleep on your back or your side, mainly because they're firm, soft, and still yet supportive. Now, one thing to note about the woolly down is that when you first get it, it may seem a little bit lumpy, but if you give it a little bit of time, that's all gonna compress and it'll work itself out. Now, if you do sleep on your stomach and you want a little bit of a smaller, leaner pillow, you can remove some of the filling and it'll work a little bit better, which is what I did. Now, also, if you find yourself sleeping hot at night, the wool pillows can be extremely helpful because they naturally wick away moisture and they can keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So while the regular fill isn't adjustable, the woolly down is. So let's take a look inside. And there it is. You can see all the wool. Now, one thing that's nice about the woolly down pillow is that actually maneuvering it and working it and getting it to the right loft that you want is a lot easier than with some of the pillows because it's a lot cleaner and easier to manage. But anyway, that about wraps it up for the inside of this. Let's go ahead and move on to pillow number six. Here we are with pillow number six, which is our organic buckwheat and lavender millet ultimate pillow kit. Some of the features include being completely vegan, uh, all biodegradable, it's hypoallergenic, and it definitely stays cool when you're sleeping on it. Now, we picked it up from Open Your Eyes Bedding, and a fun fact about the buckwheat pillow is that it originated in Asia and it's been around for centuries. Now, as far as our opinion goes, it's definitely like the reviews. Uh, we feel like uh, it's one of those that you either absolutely love or you hate. And with me and Katie, we have each end of the spectrum. So I'm not a big fan of the pillow. Uh, it's a little too heavy and a little bit too firm for me. Uh, but for Katie, that's actually worked out great. Uh, it's more of like a therapeutic pillow. Uh, when she first used it and she laid down into it, uh, kind of instantly uh, her neck pain and back pain and tension uh, went away and it actually helped influence the way that she's been sleeping ever since. Now we'd say this pillow is probably best for back sleepers, 
who have some neck and back pain or are looking for some sort of relief when they're sleeping or trying to figure out a new way to sleep such as on your back it's a really great pillow for that um, like i said it is very heavy uh, but overall katie loves this pillow all right let's go ahead and take a look at the inside so with this pillow you do have the two separate pillowcases uh, you have your one that the big one goes into and then at the top you're going to see two different zippers as you open one you're going to see where the buckwheat is and then as you come over here and open the second zipper you're going to see the lavender and millet mix oh you can smell that lavender Now it is kind of messy, this pillow, um, both the lavender millet section and the buckwheat. Uh, it definitely is messy, so you're gonna wanna try to keep a vacuum on hand when you're dealing with it. Um, but other than that, the smell and aroma is really nice. But anyway, let's go on to pillow number seven and eight. So here we are with pillow number seven and pillow number eight. Now we're gonna be sharing these two at the same time because they are both bamboo charcoal memory foam pillows and we picked them up from the same company. Now over here we have the air pillow and over here is the gel pillow. Uh, some of the features include uh, that they're made from renewable resources. They're also hypoallergenic. Uh, they repel odors and stains and they both sleep fairly cool at night. Now, the company we picked them up from is called Kari Loha. They're a Utah-based company, and they focus on mixing the style of the Caribbean with uh, the spirit of Aloha. Uh, and I think they nailed it because both of the pillows are soft, cool, clean, and green. Um, now, a fun fact is that the gel used in the pillow is actually made of bamboo, too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but diving into our opinion of these pillows is uh, that when we first got them, we thought they were super luxurious and super soft, uh, and they're definitely some of our favorite pillows. Um, for me personally, I absolutely love using them at night if we're propping ourselves up to read a book or watch a movie. Um, both of them work really good for that. The gel pillow actually provides a lot of support while I'm sitting in that position, um, so I love it for that. Uh, if I'm going to sleep on one of them, I do prefer the, prefer the air pillow because it's got a little bit lower of a loft and works better for me with sleeping on my stomach. Uh, now, Katie absolutely fell in love with these pillows because similar to the last pillow, they're able to help her sleep on her back all through the night, which in turn has helped to alleviate some of the tension and back pain and neck pain that she's been having. Um, now, when as far as the air pillow goes, uh, like I said, I sleep on it with my stomach. It does have that lower loft, so if you're a stomach or side, sleep, or side sleeper, this could be a really good option for you, and it does sleep fairly cool. Now, if you find yourself sleeping really hot at night and you need to stay super cool, the gel pillow really does keep a solid, cool surface all throughout the night. Uh, I don't know if you can see it over here with the pillowcase, you can't really, but it has uh, little uh, indentions here that actually help release that cool temperature. Um, and it has a little bit larger of a loft, but you can sink into it, so it may be good for you as well there. Um, but overall, we're really excited about these pillows. They're some of our favorites. Uh, they both do also come with removable pillowcases so that you can wash them. Um, but anyway, that about wraps it up for pillows number seven and number eight. We'll go ahead and move into which ones were our favorites. So now that we've shared all eight of the healthy pillows that we tested out, we wanted to dive into our favorites. And uh, to be honest, we found pluses to all of the pillows and especially the companies that provided the pillows. Uh, all of them are companies that we feel like we can stand behind. Uh, but our favorite pillow has to be the Coop. Um, we really think that the soft supportiveness that it offers could work for pretty much anyone unless you're really looking for a much firmer pillow. Now behind that is the memory foam pillows. Uh, they're just super soft and luxurious and supportive. Uh, we really love the way that those work. And then the buckwheat pillow. Now that one's so different. Uh, it's more for Katie as a favorite because uh, she really loves the therapeutic aspects of it. And uh, if she has any back pain or neck tension, uh, she can lay down on it for a couple nights and just get that wiped clean. So we really hope this video was helpful for you. We hope it provided you some information that can kind of point you in the right direction to look for a healthier pillow for you. 
Now, the way we look at it is if you're going to spend eight hours a night or a third of your life sleeping on something, you should probably make sure that it's not harming you. Um, so that's why we went about taking this approach and kind of figuring out what's best for us. And hopefully it's helped you guys out. And uh, all the companies that we did highlight in here, they do offer other options as well. So definitely uh, do your research and dig into it. Um, and if you have a healthy pillow that you sleep with and you absolutely love, we'd love to hear about that. Uh, also, in the description box, we are going to include our affiliate link, so if you want to go ahead and jump over to those websites and grab one of the pillows, feel free to do that. Uh, we do receive a small commission uh, for those links if you use them, uh, so something to keep in mind. Uh, but anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. Again, we hope it was helpful. Uh, thank you guys so much for swinging by. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.